how to add a hostinger business email to your gmail hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can get a business email from hostinger and how you can add it to your gmail account so let's get into it so as you can see i'm on hostinger.com now what you're going to do over here is come over here at the top and go to the hosting section click on it it'll open up drop down menu there click on business email it's going to take you to the business email section where you can go ahead and click on start now and get started with one of these plans you can see there are two plans the business starter and the business premium both of them will give you a bunch of different options you can see right here 10 forwarding rules 50 email alias antivirus check advanced anti-spam and even a 10 gigabyte storage per mailbox which is pretty cool if you go with the premium one it'll give you 50 instead of 10 50 forwarding rules, 50 email aliases, and all the other options, and also a free domain as well. So select whichever option you want, and we will continue. I'm going to continue with the business starter and click on choose plan. It's going to be around, and I'm going to go with the one month, and it's going to be $2.99 over here. If you have a coupon code, you can go ahead and get started with it. It, it also gives you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So I'm going to click on continue, and I'm going to go ahead and register right here. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up with my Google account. And here we go. After that, it's going to go ahead and take you to the billing section. So just go ahead and fill out the billing address, you know, standard stuff, your name, your country code, your address region, and then go to the payment section and it'll ask you for your credit card information or debit card. And then you are good to go. So let's go ahead and get this started. So here you can see a bunch of different payment options. We've got PayPal, Google Pay, Alipay, uh, CoinGate, and even the standard debit card option right here, the credit card. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this and catch you guys in a sec. And here we go. So payments done, account created, and now we are good to go. So now it's going to take us to our H panel or Hostinger panel, which is going to be their dashboard. Here we can go ahead and set up our email domain. If you have a domain, you can go ahead and and use the existing one if you don't have one you can go ahead and buy one so go ahead and select whichever option you want so if you already have one go ahead and use that one if not you can go ahead and buy it so if you, let's go ahead and click on select and buy one so here we're going to go ahead and enter our desired domain name it can be anything so go ahead and search for domain name and you will get it let's go ahead and search for this one and we can see it is available but it's for 4.99 per year uh, monthly it's going to be seven sixteen ninety nine. you can see other ones are available as well like dot tech dot org dot online select whichever option you want uh let's say you wanted a domain name for your own business right let's go ahead and select this one uh dot shop one click on buy now and we'll buy it for one year all right and the total cost is going to be right here you can see let's go ahead and click on complete the process next they're going to ask you to go ahead and complete the domain name uh, registration so go ahead and fill out the information like country uh, either it's a personal or organization and to the contact details and fill it out next go ahead and add your contact detail your email the country state all of the other stuff as well and then click on finish registration so it's a pretty simple stuff and then it's going to go ahead and finish the registration give it a couple of minutes and we should be good to go next you're going to go ahead and set up your first email account so go ahead and create your first email account and start sending so let's go ahead and add that so over here i'll just say support at my domain name and then we'll set up a password for it as well and here we go so this is the domain name this is the email this is the business plan the number of accounts available click on finish setting up and there we go we are now good to go we can now connect apps and devices email dashboard and even connect our domain to find the dns settings so everything looks good and all of this is finished now we can go ahead and connect the device over here and from here we can go ahead and connect our own gmail account so if we come over here onto the left hand side click on emails we can get a mailbox and get a plan right this is currently the one where we have and now we want to go ahead and go into our Gmail account here, go into the settings option or go into all settings. And here you've got accounts and imports, right? Go ahead and click on account and import here. You can see using Gmail for work, import accounts, send mail as add another email address right here. Click on add another email address, add that email address right here, change the name, whatever, add that over here, click on next step. And we can see right here, 
this is the support this is the server support and even the passport so configure your email to be sent through this uh, smtp server all right add the password now you can find some of this stuff right here on your email so come over here onto the left hand side and go into connected apps and devices here you will see manual server you can see right here this is the outgoing server and this is the port right here 465 so let's go ahead and change that we're going to come over here change it to 465 and now we're going to go ahead and add the password for this email so next go ahead and click on add account username should be whatever it is over here okay so the, here we go you can see right here this is the smtp so we're going to copy that forgot we needed to do that as well so we're going to paste that here and here support is username is going to be the exact same uh email that you are using so support at the rate the domain name now it should be good to go click on add account and there we go so now you've successfully located your other so server now we need to go ahead and verify it all right so to verify it come back over here go into email accounts uh go ahead and you will see it right here go ahead and click on webmail it'll open up the mail section of your hostinger go ahead and log in with your password click on login wait for a couple of seconds and now we are here and you will see you have a get started message right here you can go ahead and get started so go ahead and wait for the email over here to come through uh, it hasn't come over here support at mamma mia pizzeria let's go ahead and resend it email sent so it should come over here any second now all right so now i have gotten i did it a couple of times uh, accidentally but now we got the email address right here so now all we got to do is click over here onto this email address click the link to cancel the this will be to cancel the verification and over here please click the link below to confirm your request so if we click over here and now our gmail account has now been confirmed we now click on the confirm button and our account is now confirmed so now if i go into settings and go into see all settings go into accounts and imports scroll down you will see right here this is the email that we added this is the business email and this is verified right here and we can go ahead and click on make it default and there we go that is now default so now we can go ahead and use this email to go ahead and send out different emails to different websites or our own clients so now all that's left for you to do is to check emails from other accounts go ahead and add the email over here as well again uh, add your own email support at click on next and then import emails from other accounts this is going to be the option right here we're going to click on that one click on next and now here again just add the, your username password and now for the server it's going to be a little bit different so come back over here go into connected apps and devices scroll down you're going to see incoming which is the pop server so we're going to go ahead and copy the link or the host name of the pop server and it's 995 so just paste that over here and it's 995 and of course add the password and then uh you can go ahead and select label incoming messages and always use a secure connection and i think that should be it and then just simply go ahead and click on next it is 993 uh, it is 995 okay 995 almost messed that up click on add account and there we go now just simply come over here onto gmail and they're gonna send you a email to confirm it there we go confirm the support so click on this email right here to confirm your request boom confirm and there we go it is now confirmed go back and we should be good to go confirm this one as well i believe that should be it and one more and we are good to go confirm so there we go so now as you can see now what we've done is all the emails that we gotten from hosting are, are going to be available over here as well instead of you know over here they're going to come over here and all the emails that we're going to send are going to be using the hosting or main business email so there you have it this is how you do it this is how you can add a hosting or business email onto your gmail account so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you didn't be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye